So here is my concoction right here. Okay, this is what I'm using right now to grind out that uh, collapse or that failed pipe patch. Go ahead and spin it. Okay, so this is just the resin. Okay, go ahead. So what this is, this is some, this is one inch poly hose, or spa hose, because that's what I had. Get your finger off the trigger. And that is a 5 8 cable, my friend. And so what this is, this is like a special kind of 5 8 cable that they don't really talk about. It's made by Rigid, but it's continuous all the way through. And I got 15 feet. There's the best helper in the world, right there, okay? And then, if you look on the rigid heavy duty cutters, hold on one second, I'm trying to get a good, trying to get a good picture of it. That, okay, there we go. So what this is, um, there's like a two inch C cutter made for the 5 8 and it's made for the heavy cables and everything. So all you do is you unscrew that, and then that's two wheels, okay? Now one of these wheels is a one inch, the other one is a two inch, and it really measures out more of two and a quarter, and it's actually working pretty good. We're getting a, uh, a feed rate when we're getting just the right amount of pressure right out about an inch per minute, okay? But the thing about it is is that we gotta play with the pressure. You do too much and you start bogging down the drill, you do too little and it just it just kind of stays there. In any case, and then this, that's off of a rigid mini. Okay, that's a star skid for a rigid mini, and that's working really well. And um, to make up the difference in size, just some, put some tape. The point of it is, this is my version of the thousand dollar smart cutter, right here. Um, that drill, right there. Spin it. Okay, that's the same. That's my version of the $11,000 per coat. Point of it is, is that there's a lot of other ways that we can do stuff in the industry. And sometimes we just gotta do a little bit of out of the box thinking.